Well, hello my friends, and welcome to the house hunt vlog. I'm searching for a home today. Actually, I've already searched for the home, so let's just not draw this on any longer, and let's get to the footage of me looking for the home, and then I'll pop back and tell you why I was there and what I was doing. Okay, so here's one of the builders I'm looking at. Um, this would not be my home, which is why I'm showing you the exterior. Um, I'm really here today to look at the quality of workmanship and all of that. Um, I think this house is actually under contract right now so that means that somebody has already purchased it or trying to purchase it right now but we're gonna go inside look at the finishes and you know see see what it has to offer here so in just a second I will take you inside all right so this home is still under construction kind of like I suspected however um, here's the front entryway here is a coat closet that's kind of nice some of their floor plans I've been looking at there isn't a coat closet so it's kind of nice and then obviously there'll be like a banister and like you know guides to go up or down and then over here is the entrance into the garage and I didn't even pay attention how many car garage it was oh it's a three car garage da -da -da -da. they've got all their materials in there cool all right well let's go upstairs so it's kind of similar to the layout that i showed you guys um before but obviously different because this is a new build so sorry it's so blown out let me see if i can go this way dun, dun, dun. so these are not the finishes that i would want but again like i said i want to check out the quality of the builder and what they put in and all that stuff i do like that there is a vaulted ceiling which is nice it gives you a little bit more headspace and then in the backyard so a lot of the homes in minnesota they don't come with decks but you can always put one in so obviously i wouldn't be using this until you know i got a deck because that's a little unsafe and then this would be the main living area looking out to the front of the road so don't fall down <laughs> So then over here is, oh, this is one of the bedrooms. It's just pretty small, but this would definitely be like my office, if you will. And then there's a pretty big, um, like L-shaped walk-in closet, which is great. And I love this big window. I could put my desk right here and film. Hello, righty. And then across the hall is the only bathroom. Again, the layout isn't perfect, but that's okay. I like, I like the cabinets, but obviously I'd want them white because, you know, I'm that person. Hello, I'm like so advertising YouTube today, whatever. Um, yeah, basic tub shroud, sub shroud, tub surround, which is fine. Cool. Um, I'm not a fan of the floors at all, but again, something that could be changed. And then here would be, this is, I think the master bath or master bath, well, master bedroom. Um, yeah, I like how the house is, I don't know how like my lot would be, but, um, I like how the houses aren't like right next to each other, you know, like I don't feel like, I mean, I'm sure I could see the people over there, but I like how there's a little bit of separation. And then this essentially um, is a little bit of a deeper L-shaped closet, which is nice, nice walk-in. So I could definitely fit the king bed in here, no problem. All right, let's go downstairs. See what's up. It feels so weird walking like this. My realtor should be here any minute. Okay. So here's the basement. All right, so, all right, so there's a walkout, which is really nice down here. And this is a really nice big space, as well as, this is a little crawl space, I'm not gonna open it, because there's crap in the white. And then, whoop, over here, it's about the same size of a bathroom as upstairs. Not too shabby. Again, the floor, not my favorite. And then into here is gonna be all of the washer dryer crap. Hello? Hello! And then this is the other bedroom. 
nice big window. And this closet is tiny, but that's okay. Oh, has like a little, little ledge in here too. All right, so that's it for the tour. Okay, so that was a quick peek at one of the homes that I am possibly considering. Um, that house will not be mine, which is why I was completely comfortable showing you the front of it and everything. Um, the general layout might be mine, I don't know. Um, I am not a fan of the dark finishes, like the wood and stuff like that. Um, I want all white. So the builder can do all white, it's just a matter of like, actually building it and making it my own. And there are a couple of modifications I would wanna make in that floor plan. However, there's a bunch of different lots that are currently available in that area, and the neighborhood is really, really nice. It's really quiet. All the houses are pretty much all brand new as well, which is kind of nice. And there's a lot of other features to that home that I'm really interested in. So there's a couple of other things that I want to talk to the city about. Uh, especially if I'm going to be building, I just want to make sure that I'm exhausting all of my efforts. Um, I am still looking for existing homes while this process is happening. I know I'm kind of like all over the board, but feel like the reason I am like that, and I talked to my realtor about it today, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm like kind of all over the place with like home selections and whatever, but I don't have a husband, I don't have a partner, I don't have a mate, I don't have anybody to like bounce stuff off of and it's just like all going like ping pang pong all over in my brain. So I don't know. I mean, it's a big decision and I wanna make sure I'm making the right decision for me as well as making sure that I can like grow within the house too, you know? So anyway, but um, but yeah, I really like the quality of the build. Um, I feel like it could suit my needs really well. Again, you know, it would be just a little bit different, but not by much. And um, I actually really like that smaller second bedroom on the main floor, like on the on the top floor for like my filming room because I feel like that'd be just like just enough space to put a desk or like my desk and then have some like lounge chairs or something in there. I feel like that would be really nice. I'm switching arms already. I feel like that would be like a really nice place to have like favorite daughter Emily headquarters um, as well as I could do like all my filming in there. I love that window. It is so nice and bright and I feel like I could get a lot of filming done in there, you guys. And also, the closet is really a good size um, walk-in, so it's like that L shape walk-in, so I could um, put some, like a little dresser or something in there too, um, to create some more storage, I don't know. So, I mean, the only downside is to the top level is there's really not any storage. Like, there's no storage in the bathroom. Um, that kind of sucks, but, I think I could make it work. I think I could totally make it work. But, you know, obviously I could store stuff in the vanity and things like that, but there's no like set linen closet. So, oh well, I mean, I think it would be all right. So yeah, that's kind of why I was there. I wanted to check out this builder to see, you know, the quality of finishes, if I liked it. We actually did tour another home after that. It was the exact same house, but just a couple of streets over. And that was really kind of cool. Um, that one was a little bit further done than the first one that I had looked at that I actually pulled the camera out and showed you. There were other people in the second one, which is why I didn't film that one at all. So whatever. Oh, and like the coolest thing. Okay, so I was tell you the coolest thing, which some of you will find this really interesting. So I met my realtor at the first home and then we drove together to the next home and then we kind of like walked around the neighborhood a little bit and uh, then he dropped me off at the first home that we were at because my car was still there and as I was pulling away, the person that lived next door, it was a woman that came out, she was gonna walk two of her dogs. There was two Shebas, two Shebas, two Doyle dogs were there, it was crazy. So she came out the front um, and I was like, I was driving away and I was like, ooh, should I stop? I'm like, no, I don't want to be that crazy. Like, what if I move here? I need to like calm down. So there was two Doyle dogs she had with her and they were both like the red color that looked just like Doyle. Doyle's over there right now. You can't really see him very well. He's got like all the blankets over here. Here, Doyle, Doyle, you gonna say hello to the camera? You gonna say hello? He's not gonna say hello. He's busy. He's napping. It's like his eighth. Oh, there he is. There's my buddy. Hi, boo-boo. Hey, stinky boy. Anyway, but yeah, two other Doyle dogs are in that neighborhood, which is kind of cool. Um, 
and it's already got some established like walking paths and stuff too so that's kind of nice um, because right away I won't have a fenced backyard because the fencing doesn't come with the price of the house So that's something that I would have to do Additionally at some point as well as there is no deck on the main level So I would have to put that in too, but there is like a little cement pad downstairs But if I still want to do like the renter thing or have a roommate I would want to not invade their space as much as possible So um, because we'd have to share laundry and the laundry's downstairs too. So anyway I just figured I'd give you guys an update. I did ask on Instagram if you guys would be interested in um, seeing a house hunt and everyone, well not, not everybody, but there's quite a few of you that said yes. So I figured I would share this as a little bonus video for you today. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Um, so yeah, I feel really good about this possible building thing. And like I said, I'm gonna keep looking for existing homes too. You just, you never know what I'm gonna find. Um, the market is definitely picking up just a little bit now that it's um, being a little bit nicer outside. It's actually 50 something degrees outside, which is crazy this time of year in Minnesota. That's just nuts. In the next couple of months, it's really gonna tick up with the amount of listings and stuff like that too. So if I see anything I like, I'll go take a tour of it. Um, if not, it's fine. I mean, I can always do the build as well. So anyway, but I am going to let you guys go because I am rambling now. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.